Well, thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here today at the Electric Vehicle Summit 2012 to add my support to the work being led by Cardiff University's Electric Vehicle Centre of Excellence. I think I may have been um, overpraised there. Uh, having a love of engineering is not quite the same as understanding it. Uh, and my father, who spent uh, all his uh, life uh, teaching design and technology, could never quite understand how he produced a son uh, who was so lacking in the talents that he had in the subjects that he taught. It's right to say I do read talent. In fact, I proofread it together with my, uh, with my wife. So uh, it's a magazine, certainly, that I read uh, very, very often. Uh, it was also great to see the electric cars that were out there today. We've come a long way since the days of the milk float. I remember as a little boy, you could hang on to the milk float in days when more liberal attitudes were taken to uh, health and safety. Uh, and, of course, we've moved on now to cars with a far greater range. Uh, and, of course, uh, they're far faster than the, uh, the old machines used to be. What struck me is the sheer pace of change in this technology over the past five to ten years. Uh, the fact that we now have uh, quite a selection of cars that are either fully electric or hybrid, whereas not so long ago that choice was very, very limited. And I think it has to be said that what we see uh, outside this building today is the technology of tomorrow. And for Wales to be at the forefront of that technology is obviously very important for us. Now the event today will examine the entire topic of electric vehicles from a much wider perspective uh, than most of the other electric vehicle events uh, that take place on an almost weekly basis, it seems, right now. The far-reaching and very relevant research that the centre does includes not only matters of vehicle technology and infrastructure, but also considers social factors, the psychology of change, safety issues, and public and corporate attitudes. Now, it's encouraging to see the close links that the centre has with other key electrical vehicle research and development work that's taking place here in Wales. And in particular, I was pleased to officially open the Centre for Alternative Powertrain Systems Engineering, which includes a battery development centre which is housed at the University of Glamorgan last year. We know that it's vital that we reduce the emissions produced by the transport sector. It's responsible for approximately 20% of the emissions covered by our 3% reduction target. And we've set ambitious targets for carbon reduction in Wales. In our transport strategy and our national transport plan, we set out how we intend to deliver our vision of a modern, integrated and sustainable transport system, encouraging the uptake of low carbon energy sources for transport. Now we know that electric vehicles and innovative new technologies have a key role to play in meeting those targets. We also know there are challenges facing the electric vehicle agenda, including public acceptance of electric vehicles as an alternative and viable form of transport and the embracing of the agenda by industry. The work being undertaken in Wales is therefore highly important and uh, exceptionally uh, important and crucial to the development of the new dawn in motoring habits that align more closely with environmental and health concerns. We're building now, I believe, on credibility established by the Low Carbon Economic Area Project, promoting Wales as the leading UK nation for low carbon automotive research, development and manufacturing. And the Enovit programme is part of the Team Wales portfolio within the low carbon sector that encourages indigenous growth, seeks to attract foreign direct investment, and also looks to encourage uh, industry and academic collaborations. Wales is open to business through leading companies and academic institutions working together on high value programmes of work, with our universities adding value to the economy by providing businesses with both skilled graduates and leading edge research. The Enovit programme supports both the low carbon technology and advanced materials and manufacturing sectors, and in doing so, they deliver significant returns for a variety of companies in both areas of automotive and stationary smart grid technology. We're also working very closely with the Welsh Automotive Forum, the Climate Change Commission and local authorities on green transport issues. The Welsh Automotive Forum has a key role to play 
because it connects technology businesses and universities in Wales with the vehicle and technology companies in the UK and overseas. New entrants in the supply chain for new vehicles. So the event today links very well with our key innovation themes, such as raising Wales's profile in the UK and beyond as an innovative place, strengthening the links between universities, business and Welsh government, and also emphasising the need to focus R&D and innovation activity on specific challenge areas where Wales is strong. And one of those areas is advanced engineering. And that's a key theme of our recently published new strategic agenda called Science for Wales. So the launch of the Electric Vehicle Centre of Excellence today, the first of its kind in the UK, has an important role to ensure that we bring about uh, economic and technical innovation in electric vehicles. We want the centre to enhance Wales's ability to contribute significantly to the development of low carbon vehicles through R&D, supply chain organisations and grassroots companies, many of whom I know are here today. It's heartening to see so many people here today because it shows the interest that exists and one of the points that I've made in television interviews outside this building today is that we see the technology of tomorrow outside those windows. Absolutely crucial then that Wales is at the forefront of that technology. The technology is important, to be sure, for the environment, for emissions, for pollution, for dealing with climate change. But we also know that technology will create jobs in the future. And I want to make sure that those jobs are created in Wales because we know that uh, by keeping ahead of technological advances, by holding events such as this, by our universities and industry working together, we can ensure that Wales is indeed at the forefront of a rapidly developing technology such as electric vehicles. So do enjoy today's event. I'm sure it'll be exceptionally informative and it gives me a great pleasure now to wish you uh, all the best for the rest of the day and the best of luck with all your endeavours. Thanks very much.